Hi everyone, on today's plate we'll be setting up Xamp as our PHP development environment. At the moment Xamp is one of the best PHP development environments. It supports Windows, Linux and OS X so you can install it pretty much anywhere. Also it supports the current latest version of PHP so we go with that one. Click on the download link and from the given options select the downloader for your platform. I'm currently using Lubuntu so I will download the Linux version. Also, make sure that you download either the 32 or 64 bit version depending on your system. Once the download finishes, open the terminal and navigate to the folder where you downloaded XAMPP. In order for us to be able to run the installer, we will need to change the permission of the file to 755 and execute the install command using super user privileges. Once you enter your password, the installer will start and ask us for the installation option. All of them are pretty straightforward, so go ahead and select the default options. On my machine the installation took around 10 minutes to complete, but this is a really old laptop and it should take a lot less on your machine depending on the hardware. After the installation, when the control panel starts, go to Manage Servers and select to run Apache. To verify that our installation worked, open the browser and navigate to localhost. This should open the XM homepage. From here, you can verify that the correct version of PHP is installed, 7.1.1 in my case, and that everything seems normal. In order to be able to connect our code to database, we'll also need to run MySQL Server, and we can verify that it properly works by opening up PHP MyAdmin. Now that the installation is done, we can proceed in setting up virtual host. This will allow us to have multiple virtual sites hosted on the same machine as if they were hosted on an actual server and allow us to view them separately. To enable virtual hosts, open up the XM configuration file with your text editor from the location as stated on the screen. Scroll down to the bottom of the file and uncomment the line where it includes the vhost configuration file. Save your changes and now open up the vhost configuration file. There you will find two examples of how you need to configure your sites. Create a directory where you want your site to exist and use that for the document root. Set the server name to the local domain that you want to use. I'm using .dev as an extension on all of my local sites so I can clearly identify when I'm seeing the local site. If you still want to access localhost as before, we will need to define a virtual host for it as well. Let's first create a dummy index.html file in the folder where we pointed the first virtual host so we can verify that it works. Restart Apache to load the changes from the configuration. Since .dev is a domain that does not exist, we need to define it in our local host file. Use the command on your screen to open up the host file and add the domain that you created with the localhost IP address of 127.0.0.1. Now, open the browser and navigate to the domain we've just created. If everything is set up right, you should see the test HTML we've created earlier. Unfortunately, that did not work for me. I had several issues that I had to resolve and I'm going to explain how I solved them. Before I go into details on how I solved my issues, I want to give you a quick tip on restarting XM. It is best that you use the terminal command for that matter as the user interface does not give sufficient information on any error that might happen. At several occasions I had errors in my configuration file so Apache refused to start with not so informative error messages as shown on the screen. My first issue was that I did not have the logs folder created inside my virtual host directory. This was causing Apache to fail to start and load the new changes so I was still seeing the XM homepage. Once I fixed that, my second issue was that I've used a folder outside the default location of XM and Apache did not have permission to execute code there. For that, I had to add additional code to the vhost configuration file as shown on the screen. Additionally, I changed the user under which Apache is running to my user in the http.com file so it has the same permission as I have, allowing it to execute code. If we now visit the local domain we've just created, we will see the sample index.html file we've created. XAMPP is now properly set up and ready for some development. If you liked the video, hit the like button below and leave me a comment if you have any questions or difficulties setting up XAMPP on your machine. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more projects and fun in future.